New at five, for the fifth weekend in a row, someone has lost their life at Lake Pleasant. This time, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office says that 32-year-old Tahana Smith was hit by a boat propeller. Her leg was amputated in that accident and then she later died. Authorities are looking into how that happened. Meanwhile, Team 12's Rachel Cole spoke to the lake officials and she joins us now live from Lake Pleasant with more on precautions that people need to be aware of. Rachel. Yeah, you guys, another family affected out here at Lake Pleasant. While they didn't want to speak today after that accident, some lake officials say it's really important to keep the safety measures in mind. And while they might seem simple, it's good to be reminded of them, especially as we head into Memorial Day weekend when many more families will make their way out to this recreational site. Our priority is always the safety of members and guests that come to Scorpion Bay Marina and who visit anywhere on the lake. Heather Austin with Scorpion Bay Marina says first check the conditions on the Maricopa County Parks and Rec page. The weather in Phoenix is not the weather up at Lake Pleasant. So make sure you check the weather. If there's any indication that there's going to be high winds, um, that's a good time to, to, to reschedule your trip and come at a different time. This is a busy time of year at County Lakes, so she recommends getting out early. Sometimes people are surprised when they get a line when they come to enter the park or when they come into the marina. And so arrive early so you don't feel rushed so that you're taking the time to do your safety checks. One of those safety checks, making sure everyone has a Coast Guard approved fitted life jacket. Make sure everyone in your group has their life jacket, has been hydrated, has their sunscreen on, is ready to go. Austin adding, it's vital to designate a captain of your crew, so to speak. This person is like your designated driver. They are the team leader. They are the mom of the group. They make sure that everyone gets home safely. And so they're not drinking. It's very important that they keep everyone on track and they keep everyone safe and they know where everyone is and, and that they're helping to, to make sure that it's a safe and a good experience for everyone in their group. Lastly, lake goers are strongly encouraged to take one of several safety classes offered by the county ahead of scheduling any plans. They need to have that flag up when someone's in the water. They need to make sure the rope is not wrapped around, you know, any other part of the boat that it's not supposed to or an individual isn't holding that casually. And so, you know, getting to those specifics about how you wakeboard and how you wake surf and, and, and water ski, it's very important. And those, those boater safety courses are very important for anyone who's a new boat owner. You guys, we've been out here for the better part of the afternoon and we've already seen a couple of jet skiers eat it out here. And you know what? They had their life jackets on. They were able to get back on safely. One of the many important safety reminders, keep those life jackets on. They have to be properly fitted. And those boat safety classes can be found online. We've posted that link for you on the free 12 News app. We're live at Lake Pleasant this afternoon. Rachel Cole, 12 News, guys. All right, Rachel, thanks.